Hey, hey, Bill the Table. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill the Table fans. Hi. Hey, this is my wife, Tamara. Hello. Lo, these glorious 18 <laughs> years and four children later. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Coming up on 19. Next month. Also, incidentally, the number of days between our first date and proposal. It's true. I knew a good thing when I saw it. So, <laughs> so we're here to give you the lowdown on Valhalla. Oh, yes, here we go. Yeah. Valhalla. Okay. We're super excited. We've been doing them in Sundance. So amazing. But uh, we've started to outgrow that, and we found a place uh, north of there. Mm -hmm. and well, northeast, I guess, maybe. Right. So um, our location is, it's about an hour out of Salt, Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. It's about 20 minutes from Park City, which is a world-renowned resort town. Mm -hmm. And uh, hosted the 20, 20... 2002. 2002 Olympics? Yes. Are you sure? It was 2002. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Winter Olympics. 2002 so Winter Olympics. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing resort town. And uh, okay, so for Valhalla, you buy your ticket. And there's four, you can get that on bluetablepaintingstore.com right now. And, oh, by the way, I'm doing a huge favor to BTP fans because I'm breaking all this news to you first. In about a week, it's going to hit about four major war game media channels. They're going to start beating the drum about this. So all I have to say is get your ticket. And it's going to uh, go fast. The, we do make uh, payment arrangements if you want to pay it in parts up to, you know, the event. Uh, but you do need to get started with something. So, uh, so let's talk about dates. Uh, our first date is uh, April 29th through May 4th. So it's a six-day event. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And, right? Lots bigger than what we've done in the past. Right. We used to do four days. And uh, so, and people kept saying, hey, it's too short. It's too short. A lot more time. So that's right. It was like you just kind of like by day two or three, you're kind of getting, getting into the groove. And, yeah. That's right. So, uh, so it's six days. The next date is August 26th through 31st. So last week in August. And the last one is October 21st through 26th. Those are correct. And uh, that's also a week. So for the one that's coming up first this year, mm -hmm. it's Blue Table Painting Centric. We're going to have Blue Table staff. That is the, that is the thing that we're going to do, plus our clients and guests. And uh, the, okay. And then um, in October, okay, in October, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Here's who we have coming in October, if you're ready for this. We've got Mini Wargaming. That's right. It's like she's reading an Oscar. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the nominees are Mini, Mini War, War Gaming, Gaming, War Game Consortium. That's right. Awesome paint job. That's right. War Gamer Girl. Oh, that's a maybe, by the way. Okay, so hey, she's, go, go she's a tentative. Go ahead. Uh, Joey Berry. Uh, Brush for Hire. Brush that's, for uh, Hire. Austin is the name there. Worthy Painting. Yep, Worthy Painting. So we got some awesome names coming out. We're going to talk. The, that's we're a huge talk amount shop. of people. To, that is. That's that going to be a lot. That's a lot of people. <gasps> yeah, it's going to be so now, awesome. Last October, so you we had uh, we had about we had mini war gaming and worthy painting, yeah. and uh, Dave Lewis from Drop Zone Commander. Yes. And we're trying to get him out for one of the dates this year. Mm -hmm. August special guests are to be announced. I guess I could say who we were trying to get out. Yeah. Uh, we're trying Sorry. for uh, someone from Privateer Press. Infinity. Um, Infinity. That's a, yeah. we think we think they'll come. Infinity. The Infinity guys, yeah. and uh, because they're going to be at Gen Con, which is right around our August date. Uh -huh. So, okay. so um, they'll already be in the states. Uh, oh, let's awesome. let's hope so. So think about that. Last year, and that's when it occurred to me. I'm like, that's pretty awesome. Which is, they. Here I was at Valhalla. Whoa. Awesome food, awesome surroundings, Beautiful. and here's the creator of this game teaching me how to play the game using studio terrain. Oh, when Dave came and from studio Drops managers. Of yeah, that's right. He still know. Yeah. He what? <laughs> he still doesn't know his name. Is that what you're saying? The, the creator I still don't of know who. his name is Dave. No, I know what his name is. I remember. <laughs> 
I remember it. Same as Dave. So anyway, so would you hold this, please? Mm -hmm. Get out here and be a part of this because, like, so you'll get a tombstone and write down the dates that you were alive, and then you should buy another tombstone, stick it on top of that tombstone that says you went to Valhalla and the dates you went to Valhalla. <laughs> because it's awesome. Epic. It is. It's completely epic. So anyway, so Sundance is absolutely fantastic. Nothing wrong with Sundance. Uh, but we started hunting around for... Other Could than it, it's is there something small. more awesome? We want, we want to be able to have is, more people. Is there something more awesome? So we've locked and down we the dates. It. That's right. We locked down the dates for this lodge. And here's, let me tell you all about it. It's, the place in Sundance was 6,000 square feet. That's like three homes kind of glommed together. This new place is 26,000 square feet. It is huge. It's at it's appointed so well. It's it is nice. so awesome. Yeah. And so, so this is like ten houses oh, basically put together. It's a lot. Together. It's it's it a is. huge. It's mighty. Amazing place oh. where, that you're going to get lost in. It's just you can you will have plenty of space to not to feel at home, and yet you're going to have lots of things to entertain you and keep you occupied and yet if you want some peaceful alone time you can just you can go find that as well it, yeah it's a um, hundred people could get absorbed absolutely and, and not feel like you're stacked on top of each other kind of like at conventions you just are like these little right. salmon so swimming crowded. upstream this is there is so much room here you're going to yeah, and 9,000 square feet of deck space. Yeah. There's decks. Gorgeous balconies with these amazing views. Oh, yeah. Tell them the, about the hilltop. The lake. There's this gorgeous lake, and there's just these rolling mountains everywhere. You're surrounded by mountains with these trees, and especially in autumn time. Yeah, pine trees Pine everywhere. trees, aspen trees. The colors are going to be amazing in the oh, spring. In, in, in the, the spring. In the spring, you're not going to be able to see that there is anyone else around because it's so heavily wooded. Everyone just yeah. gets. It's on 12 acres. Oh, 12 so private awesome. acres. Oh, and it's exclusive. We're the, going to be the only people. Yes. Up there yeah. For the week. Oh, it's so great. Oh yeah, it's, I, I actually when we were touring this place, uh, I. First off, my legs were sore afterwards because it was a hike. Just to see every room was a hike. <laughs> it took us over a and half an hour just to was, walk through the place. Right. <laughs> and, and I actually got lost at one point. I was like, where, where, are, where, 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 are, we? where are we? It was like well, I was in they, an M.C. Escher well, painting. Because there's, the, there are, there's, these, there's hallways and there's doorways that kind of lead into one another. And it's just, it's so fun. It's going to oh be, gosh. and there's a, so there's a pool. Oh yeah, the features. Tell them okay. about the features. So there's a pool, a huge, gorgeous indoor pool that's heated. It, they keep it about 86 degrees. It's just oh, awesome. Oh wow, okay. And, um, which is fantastic. And then there's a 10 person hot tub. Right. That, there's, oh, by the way, that overlooks the valley. Yes. It's like, out on this. you are in the home of the gods it at this place. It is beautiful. It's crazy. I'm and, watching the video right now. <laughs> Yeah. It's oh, awesome. and I'm going to give you the link of the longer one for interior. And use. there's um, and there's this there's a lovely Ooh, sauna, really huge lovely. sauna, so nice dry heat sauna. So when you get out of the pool, you can shower off, put some conditioner in your hair, and just sit in the sauna and have this awesome. And then rinse out, and you're going to have the most beautiful. I don't know about hair. you guys, but that's my routine. <laughs> Smack some birch leaves on and birch branches on you. Is that, is that what it is? That's what All you right do. Alright then. Anyway, and so um, I'm be holding classes that's right. how to have the the perfect Get the sauna most out experience. Of your sauna. <laughs> the There's game. also where the eating area, it's so huge. There's it is. There's it's, there's so much space. It's the to feasting just, hall oh, of the Norse afterlife. It is it's crazy. Huge. And there's just there's plenty of places to eat and there there's so let's talk about food. serving area. How does the food work at Valhalla? Uh, it's uh, constant. Oh, first off, <laughs> it's it's part it's of your ticket. It's never ending food. Because um, when we created this experience, it was um, we had gone to conventions which are great. I'm not knocking conventions, but we started identifying things that we would do differently. Exactly. One of them is 
I mean, once you get there, it's like everyone's hitting you up for money. Yeah. For, you got to pay extra for this and that. Yeah. And we're like, nope, that's not going to be the case. So when you pick that. up your ticket, you get you get all of your food the entire time. It's an all-inclusive. It's all-inclusive. So your food, your transportation. Uh, we're, there's limits to the transportation. That's but true. But we'll get to that later. We're just talk, so we're just talking Depends food. on the type of so ticket you buy. There's so good. much food. There was oh. one Valhalla <laughs> where we put out an ice cream bar. And there was an audible groan. It's like, oh, that you just, there's no oh, room. Oh, I can't, I can't possibly no fit, you know, <laughs> eat your Sunday. But it is, it's wonderful food. And we have, um, we have lasagnas and we yeah, usually, we nights. usually do theme nights. It's the menu changes, it's, but it is, it's pro, it's professionally done. And, and so we do Italian night and Mexican. Food. We do like um, hamburgers, hot dogs. Yeah, and the barbecue's my favorite. The barbecue, yeah, Thank barbecue you. night. And we do, um, what else? We do amazing breakfast. Oh, yeah. Breakfast is like so fantastic. You get up, right, and it has kind of a it's got like house, this, a mild house party. Yeah, it's feel got this really it. fun family. It's not feel. like you're in your hotel room and then you come down and there's this crowded convention hall yeah. that smells of hotel. No, no. not like that at all. It you smells, smell bacon it and pancakes. Bacon and pancakes. It's it's incredible. And you yeah. look out the window and you're just out the window and you're just out there. And there's constant oh, snacks nice. out. There's all kinds of little Yeah, we put up like candy, candy dishes and stuff. Snacks and it's and, crazy. And and it's a kind of a it's a very come as you are kind of eat what you want. You kind of serve yourself and it's wonderful. So for as, as so for as this place want, we're expecting 20. out uh, minimum 25 probably more like 40 to 50 people. So, it, so, and like we said, that just gets absorbed in this place. So it yeah. does have that intimate feel. And uh, with the uh, industry leaders coming out, you get uh, this yeah. sense of, you know, talking shop. Yeah. So, well, yeah, so. you get to be with these amazing, inventive, creative, right. front, you know, frontline there people. Front runners. And you get to be have their full attention for an entire week. How awesome is right. that? Disclaimer, may or may not include full attention for an entire week. <laughs> um, they may be a little distracted. So let's, okay, so we've talked about lodging. We've talked about food. Uh, let's talk about entertainment. Entertainment is the guests that we have, mm -hmm. which for the April, May one is blue table painting itself. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and then it's the war games. Let's not forget that. So uh, this is for <laughs> miniatures battles. The you're coming. And people say, well, what games are you going to play? Blah blah blah. It's all of them. We find out what our guests are interested in, and we the guests um, that are coming for that time. Because frame. people play multiple games, typically mm -hmm. it's not a problem to set this up. So we set tables up based on what is needed. And uh, the only thing I can say is the October one will be 40k centric. Okay. And uh, the other ones will be basically a mix. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty strong for Warhammer Fantasy for the May-April one. Yeah. Uh, but what we found in this place when we did the count, I could, we have a lot of terrain here because we put on 10 Valhallas and we've been <laughs> making epic terrain for every single one. And then, and then plus whatever else we're doing. So this, I could set up every single table, every single piece of terrain that blue table painting owns, and that's a lot. And still and have room. still have more. We've got to. We've still got to make more. Yeah, there's still going to be room it's, for more. It's there's a gaming hall. Yeah. Here that is. Uh, we calculated it was about forty by thirty. I mean, it's this huge, and it they overlooks. Have, it's like up on the upper. They level. have a bounce house in there right now. Yeah. There's, <laughs> which, which, that'll be gone. Which. But uh, a whole bounce house fits inside this room. It's a bounce house. So. <laughs> Anyway, the war gaming is going to be epic. I have, uh, there are staff there that will switch the tables out according to need. Okay. So if we see That's that awesome. something's needed in a certain place, we, you know, chop, chop, and then they go, whoosh, take care of it. So, uh, yeah, and we, we bring all the BTP studio armies out. So technically, you don't even need to bring an army. But we do encourage people to bring painted armies. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can ask me, you know, well, what, what does it look like the games are going to be like? And some people will bring things according, according to that. So, so that's the entertainment. What about, what about people who don't game? What oh, kind of entertainment okay. is there for them? The, now, this is why, <laughs> this is why uh, Tamara's here, is that 
Um, I want you to give the perspective. So let's say I'm I'm a diehard war gamer, uh, right? Okay. And I'm pitching let's this say, to you. Let's say that. Let's say that I am. <laughs> just for just for hypothetical for the sake of argument. Yeah. Let's say I'm insane in the brain for war games. <laughs> okay, let's go. There. And yeah, let's say I had made it my let's life. Let's say I'm the wife let's of a gamer. How I about had, that? I had, I had and he wants it, to drag me to this event. I had made it my life. It's like, so why would if, I want to go to a convention? Forget yes. about it. Oh. Groan, you should really groan. Yeah. But knowing what you know, yeah. having gone to ten Valhallas now. Ten Valhallas. And I've been to... Um, what is it going to be And like? I've been to conventions, What is there too. for you? And I've been drugged to conventions as well. Drug to convention? <laughs> I you like love every you, minute sweetie. of it. <laughs> so I would jump at the chance to come to a Valhalla as a non-gamer. Because, especially at this location... It is gorgeous. There is plenty to do outside. Gorgeous hikes. You, um, you're only 20 minutes from Heber and Park City, so there's all this amazing shopping, spying, antiquing, and outlet mall. Outlet mall. Oh well, my gosh. What's, what's Park City like? Park, well, Parks. Okay, Park City is an old mining town that's been converted into this gorgeous. Okay. Resort. Old, what just popped into someone's head when you said old mining town? It's got these darling little. There's crusty old guys no. with pickaxes and long beards. No. Hey, Missy, welcome to Park City. Hey. No. Don't knock it. I'm like, Spencer's <laughs> yeah. like, I'm Don't knock the old mining town. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's quaint. What I old mining? I mean, I mean quaint. It's got these cute. I thought it was. I thought it was cutting edge. I well, mean, but the they, restaurants. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. They've. I mean, it's got that. Of course, I'm easily impressed. Looking feel to it, but it is very contemporary. It's got five star restaurants. It has amazing, beautiful art, art galleries, museums, and you know, craftsmen. I mean, there are just uh, gorgeous craftsmen boutiques there, and there are um, there's tons of shopping. They have world class spas there where you can get treated like an absolute queen, which you deserve, so do that. Um, you can have, you can go sh um, biking, hiking, horseback riding. They've got the whole um, Olympic Park area where you can go down the Alpine Slide. They've got these uh, fun rides and things that they've converted into for during the summer and off, off winter season, because obviously it's a ski resort. That's kind of the main draw there during the winter. and But they've got tons of fun things and really exciting things to do during the so, off-season. Sorry. So a man could confidently bring his spouse, for Significant example, other. Yeah. out. A non-gamer. A non-gamer. Could come out. Mm. And this would be a vacation for them. Too. Absolutely. All there right, is awesome. plenty, plenty, plenty to keep you occupied and right. busy. And if you just want some quiet alone time, which I revel in that when I'm, if I can get away from my kids and my husband is occupied and I just have time to myself, oh, awesome, heaven. And you can, you can do that at the lodge as well as down in the town. So yeah. it's so. And if, if, you, if you do the math, if you do the math, even 50 people, that is still, that's, they'll just get absorbed in oh, this, this place. Oh, this place is so Never mind the outdoor stuff. Don't yeah. Mind. Oh. Yeah. So All right. amazing. So that's, uh, that's entertainment for non-gamers there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so transportation, uh, there's limited transportation. We provide some. We make a, uh, at least two shuttle runs to the airport. Mm -hmm. which is arranged beforehand. So you yeah. don't arrive and find out, oh yeah, nothing's happening. We find the itineraries and we try and arrange it in the best way possible to get people out there. And that's an improvement on, like you get to a convention, I, I don't know where it is. I don't, you know, you have to kind of follow instructions, but, well, do we turn here? There's that kind of sense of anxiety, you, get, you know, but what I wanted is you arrive to the airport, you call the driver, and the driver, oh yes, no. I'm right around the corner. No, you don't what? even need to call the driver. Yeah, the they driver, just know when you're going to be The driver anticipates, because I'm the driver, 
than right. driver and historically. Yeah, I might not be for these, but I have been in the past. But they anticipate you make a your, great driver. Your, I thank you. Um, they anticipate your arrival and have contacted you. I usually will text you ahead of time, welcome you to Utah. How was your flight? Mm -hmm. You know, and then just have you text me your passenger arrival right. zone, and I will be right there. Instead of a suitcase in each hand, going, "Where's the car rental?" Now you might want to rent a car, which mm -hmm. I do recommend if you're going to do running around. And yeah, for got, sure. If you, you know, want to do non-gaming significant. Exactly, element. you definitely. Um, want, and there's plenty of parking for that. We have par There's parking at this location where yeah. you can you can park. So that's a, also a huge improvement from it is past from, Bell Hall is from Sundays. <laughs> parking lot. Right, Tara laughs. <laughs> it, was, parking it, was, was, it was pretty rough. Parking was the night. So anyway, but. Uh, all right, and then um, you can, there is limited transportation actually during the event yeah. as well. We have uh, at least one driver to, you know, move people around as, as uh, he or she is available. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so now let's talk about the tickets. So, uh, a, an event pass is the first kind. First level. And that is, that is entertainment and food only. You find mm -hmm. another accommodation. And by the way, there's plenty of great accommodations. There are, and especially in, uh, in Heber, Heber and, Midway. and Midway, they have um, a couple of amazing resorts, Zermatt. a little bed and breakfast. They have Zermont, they have Homestead, Invited In, the, oh my gosh, yeah. The, yep. They're so, there's some really nice, okay. I mean, they also have like your traditional like Holiday Inn, Motel 6 kind of places. But if you want to step it up a notch, and they, and, and you can find some really good deals on, um, online for those places. Look at City Deals, look at Living Social, look at, uh, you know, Groupon, those kind of things for that area, and you can probably find some really good, really good deals. That's what I usually do. Okay, so uh, it's, um, so the next one up is what's called a drop pod, mm -hmm. and that is you stay up there, and it's for one person only, and we put you into a bed or a bunk. A bed where we can and bunk. You're, so you have your own bed, but everything... But you uh, don't have your own the, room. So there, there's bunk rooms. There's, yeah. a, there's a bunk room with... Um, queen size bunk beds. Right. There's oh, two of those. Who is that? Two rooms queen with that size ten. bunk beds. Yeah, I know. They're huge. It's so great. It's ridiculous. You and six other people need to share. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's, then there's some singles, and uh, then there are... Uh, so the next, and then the next ticket up the from that up is, is a, a captain's, captain's quarters, quarters, what's called a captain. Mm -hmm. And a captain is one bed, king or queen, mm -hmm. and the ticket accommodates up to two people. Yep. And, and so there are some sleeper sofas, and there are some... Some of the captains have sleepers. Well, that's what I'm saying. There are some sleeper sofas, and we might be able to move those around a little bit if we need to reconfigure. So two friends could buy a captain's uh -huh. and have two separate sleeping arrangements yep. there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, uh, hold on, the captains, yeah, one of the captains has a sleeper. Uh, yeah, both of the captains have a sleeper. Yeah, that's what them. I thought. That's so two thought. friends could share a And the sleepers quarters. are queen sleepers. Yeah. So, and they're very comfortable. And uh, so these, they're like these, these are, beautiful leather couches that turn into sleeper sofas. They're oh, yeah. They're really nice. They're great. So uh, not your grandma's house. No. Unless your great. grandma's house is awesome. <laughs> Okay, so then uh, the next one up, which is what I recommend, if you can, oh. if you can all do it, find a way to do this. this find a way, way to get go. a master. Yeah. So a master uh, has a certain level of awesomeness that we look for. Uh, at this year's location, there are six masters. And so the the awesome in those rooms is going to be a, a private balcony or a. Uh, Notice she said or. Or because they're, they're, they're all different. They're all they have different. different elements. They have different, of different amenities different in those. So it might have a fireplace. It might have an a little living room. A little, so it's like, like a, what's it called? A suite. A suite. Yeah, like a little air, sitting area, more space. Um, I think they might, all have jetted tubs. They all have. They, tubs. All of the masters have private. For those of you that want to take a bath. Private bathrooms, so you're not. You don't have a communal bathroom with all the with the captains and the. Uh, drop pods, they all are, you have a common bathroom that you're, you'll it's be shared. sharing. Um, yeah. But they're, they're big oh, bathrooms. Oh, but by the way, there are more bathrooms in this place than there are rooms. Exactly. So there's going to be plenty of, plenty of space. Um, also, they might also no shortage have, of bathrooms. have a, its own TV because not all the rooms have um, TVs. But Sitting room, them, view, 
Bottom line is a master, master is, is and notably they, more and awesome. They have, and they have, the majority of them have king size beds as well. Okay, so now, uh, when you purchase your master, you get accommodations for two. So the one bed, and uh, how many have sleepers? One, two, three of them have sleepers. The other ones could be accommodated with uh, an extra bed. Uh, but that's an, uh, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. Where you would say, you know what, we want a master, but instead of just two people in one bed, we want a second bed. Mm -hmm. And so you would just, you would just inquire. In one room, yes. <laughs> uh, so you would just inquire about that. So you could have a couple with a responsible teenager. Yeah. Uh, and we may as well talk about that. Uh, we do allow responsible teenagers, uh, but the ratio has to be at least one adult per youth that's yeah. there. And you have to, you have to take and youth is, supreme is under, responsibility. Under, under 18 or under 17? Uh, I, I'm going to say 14 to 18. 14 to 18, yeah. 14 to 18. Okay. Okay, so, um, so that's the different types of tickets, mm -hmm. and uh, all except for the event pass include lodging. And transportation. Right, the other ones include entertainment, food, and transportation. So the drop pods, the captains, and the masters all include right. lodging, transportation, and food. The right. event pass but includes entertainment and food, right. but no lodging or transportation. Right. You, you probably, if you're going to get a, an event pass and you're coming from out of town, yeah. you'll probably need to rent a car just you'll so you can come up and down at your yeah. convenience. Yeah. You know, you don't have a For problem sure. with that. Okay. So let's continue. Um, all right. Hold on. Here's my notes. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now the tenor, the tenor of the event is a mild, low-key, professional house party. So when you say party, I don't want to give the wrong impression. It's like, it's no, it's not, it, this is not spring break. It's and not, it's not animal house. The, there's, there's one rule and that is discretion and courtesy. Yeah. So uh, we don't have a liquor license. Mm -hmm. However, you can bring your own drinks. BYOB. In, as long as uh, you are, you are discreet about that. Yeah. And, uh, and and Shannon said, as long as you bring some to share with her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. I guess that got in there bring after all. Something good. Right. Bring oh, something and, good. And Spencer so, so. wants something good. Okay. Um, no anyway, ignore yet. ignore all of those people. Uh, so it it is it is rated PG. It's polite dinner conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, we you know do encourage people to if you're going to talk sensitive topics to uh, keep it off to off to the side. Because discretion and courtesy means, I realize not everyone is going to believe or see things the way that I do. Or have the same and standard. And so we, we, have to, we have to be polite. Mm -hmm. And uh, so with that, uh, I say all are welcome. And all are uh, welcome. Okay, so I talked about where to buy tickets. You buy tickets at bluetablepaintingstore.com. And, or you can contact us at bluetablepainting at gmail.com. And there's uh, links in the liner notes here. And you can ask any questions you like. You can uh, make your ticket pay in payments. You can make arrangements for that. Mm -hmm. Spread and it out a little bit. We Fits are into your budget. ready to spread it out. So, warning, you're getting a week's, you're getting a week's heads week up. Heads these up. are already, these are already selling like this. <laughs> yes, they are. So don't wait for it. Find a way to do it. And make to it happen. Get, make it, you will not get be disappointed. out here. Yeah. Because, you, will not be disappointed. you know, when I was last October, when I was sitting in the hot tub with Matt and Dave with, for mini war gaming, uh -huh. talking shop, I was like, this is epic. Yeah. This is supremely epic. And the names we have coming out this year, October, October shaping up to be the awesomest one right now. I believe August, August will shape up to be, be similarly really awesome. Cool. And the and the April, April has the April all of May the BTP one crowd, is going so to be it's going to be fantastic. going to be a lot more intimate, and it's going it's um. I want to say avant-garde, kind of like the front runners. We'll be the mm. first ones out there. You get your gratification to, you know, to have this experience. Uh, so you can come to April uh, right and away. October. Uh, yeah, there come out go. twice, <laughs> six, every six months. We'll see you every six months.
You've got to be there. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that, is, that is what we're up to, and that is, that is the lowdown. Oh, so, yeah. Make um, it happen. It's going to be phenomenal. Epic. You don't want to miss it.